Here's a case, uh, just again, showing some more pips. We're going to show you some more videos of, of, of pips itself. Upper left molar, again, using the uh, pips tip um, that we have for the power lays, placing the tip into just the orifice, cleaning out the mesial buckle two, and watching the material flow out of the mesial buckle one. And you can see the entire chamber. Everything's moving in the chamber. When we've done this before on clear teeth, we actually are in one canal and can see photoacoustic action of the streaming in other canals while we're not even close to those canals. I used to joke with Rico that maybe we're doing root canals on the entire arch if we're doing just one tooth with pips because it's so powerful. Um, again, I'm just going to show this video very quickly. This was one of the first teeth I ever did that I saw these anastomoses, um, you know, filling the mesial, the mesial buccal canal of a lower molar and it, watching it come up the mesial lingual of a lower first molar. And then it had the same phenomena happen in the distal canal. And it just blew me away the first time I saw this. I just was astounded by it because I had never really experienced that with all the flushing and convent with conventional methods. And when I started to utilize the laser and pips, I've seen this. This is routine now. I mean, I, if I don't get this, I'm a little bit worried that I haven't got the system cleaned out properly. And notice I don't say root canal. I say system because it's a system. And I want to clean that out totally in three dimensions. Again, here's a, here's a lower canal, five, mo five canal molar. There's three mesial canals here. This is a lower first molar. This is not a wisdom tooth. And I'm filling one canal and I'm three-dimensionally obturating all the canals at the same time. 